Hey everyone, King 77 here from the AC Syndicate team here to do a review video, uh, kind of previewing and showing off Signage Mod 10 Jelly Bean on the HTC Evo 4G LTE, giving you a little bit of a progress and status update as a lot of you guys have been asking me about it, asking how progress is going and everything. I wouldn't say it's a daily driver just yet, uh, which is why I'm not doing a how to install video. If you do want to check out the latest builds, usually there's a build just about every day. Uh, you'll have to check out the Evo 4G LTE IRC chat room. You'll have to head into there for download links and such. I can link to that uh, if you guys know what you're doing there. Otherwise, I would say hold off until I do a how-to install video. But otherwise, let's go ahead and get into the full review. Um, I do have it installed. My number is on my Evo LTE. I've been uh, testing some stuff out. So first of all, I do want to go into settings, scroll down, go to about phone under uh, Android version. You will see 4.1.1 right there, which is Jelly Bean, of course. So we do have uh, Jelly Bean on our device. Um, you will scroll down more. You'll see signage amount version 10. I quickly tap on Android version. Of course, you got that little hidden Jelly Bean Easter egg. Press and hold, and you got some Jelly Beans there. And also, if you quickly tap on Signage Amount version, you have uh, Signage Amount 10 there. Press and hold, and you got some uh, floating Signage Amount guys going on right there. Otherwise, though, let's go ahead and check out some other stuff. You got. Uh, a bunch of other different things. Obviously, this is Jelly Bean. Um, you'll see I have some emails right there with notifications. You can actually pinch in and minimize them. You'll see, minimize and maximize. Uh, if you get a, a picture message, let's say you get an incoming picture message, uh, it will basically preview the image for you. If you want to minimize it, you can pinch in and minimize it. If you'd like to, of course, you can swipe them away um, if you want to just get rid of them there. Uh, but otherwise, though, other things that uh, were working, picture messaging worked great, text messaging worked great. Um, I sent a text message, no problem. Let's say I wanted to send one to Google, 466453, and we will say, hey, it will send. Um, picture messaging, incoming and outgoing, worked just fine. Both of them worked great. I had no issues with uh, incoming or outcoming MMS. Uh, calls worked just fine. Let me go ahead and make a quick call. So you'll see, I'm gonna go make a call, put it on speaker. Thank you for calling All right, so call worked. I got an incoming call actually, and that worked fine too. So uh, calls were working just fine. GPS did not work. I could not get GPS to work. Um, I believe mass storage does not work, so you can't uh, mount your phone to your PC, so that doesn't work either. But you will see up at the top here, 3G data is working just fine. I believe 4G works as well. Uh, so you see you got that uh, nice AOSP-like theme. Pull it down, you got those nice uh, notification bar widgets right there, which I'll get into a, it. I will get into in a second because you can actually edit those, edit the order and such. Uh, but you see time and date right there. This is a build from August 16th. So this is the uh, just a review from August 16th in case you're watching this at a later date. Um, I will be doing updated videos, of course, for you guys. Uh, but otherwise, let's go into, go ahead and check out some other things after-wise. I mean, nothing out of the ordinary. You'll see you have the Apollo music application from Science Mod, which obviously works well. Camera-wise, camera works just fine. Uh, actually, it says cannot connect to camera. I actually need to do a reboot. Uh, the reason why it said that, I'll, I'll talk about that in a sec. Let me reboot my phone. Also, while it reboots, you'll see, cool CM10, you got a quick preview of it, uh, that boot animation there. It's a little bit edited. I don't know if it's official or not. But you also see process phone has stopped. That will actually happen. It's just obviously part of the build until 3G connects. So I actually just have to wait for some data to connect. Otherwise, uh, the phone's going to continue to force close there. Obviously, just little bugs here and there. Um, obviously, this isn't a stable build for daily use, which I mentioned in the beginning. But otherwise, I, as I said, I want to talk about the camera. So we can go into camera now that I rebooted. The reason it didn't work was because I actually switched to video camera. Video camera, you cannot video record at all. It does not work. So um, if I wanted to take a quick picture here, so we will see. I will, obviously I'm on camera now. So let it focus and take a quick picture and there you go. So of course you can continually take these pictures. Uh, you can swipe over from the right and view those pictures that you just took. Obviously zoom in, zoom out, go back to the camera application. So camera application actually really works well. You can, I don't know why it's got that little dark preview image there. So I don't know why it does do that, uh, but it does work. Let's see if front facing camera works. There you go. Front facing camera working just great. 
Um, but again, don't mess with video camera because it doesn't work if you do decide to try out this build for yourself. Otherwise though, in the app store, anything else out of the ordinary, um, I mean, all the basically stock apps, nothing, you got ROM manager there, it is pre-rooted of course. Uh, you do have Google Now, so go to our, check out our lock screen of course. You have the Jelly Bean lock screen with unlock, camera, and Google Now. You can pull down that notification bar while in your lock screen of course. So we can go ahead and go and check out Google Now and obviously it go, goes into the setup, so I mean, you'll, you'll have to set up Google now. We, I'm actually pretty excited to see how well this works. I'm sure it should work just fine. Uh, it says Google search has stopped, so maybe not. Um, I honestly don't know. This is a new build that actually just came out about 20 minutes ago, so there we go. So it pulls on up. Uh, we will go ahead and say, oh, looks like it's, uh, it's closing out. Google search has stopped. Okay, so I can't get Google Now to work. I'm really not going to mess with it too much. It's trying, but it's uh, not working. So, again, probably just a little bug in the build. Uh, no big deal there. Uh, if you want to take a screenshot, volume down and power, press and hold. Snaps a quick screenshot there. You will see it gives you a little preview of it. This is just like what would show up if you had a picture message sent to you. It's got a preview of the image. You can pinch in and minimize it. Of course, you can maximize your... Uh, your emails as well so you got a bunch of different options actually pretty cool there so obviously tap on it it should be able to go into that screenshot there you go so that's kind of nice uh, these buttons are actually remapped at least the recent running apps button is remapped to a settings button uh, a menu button sorry so uh, you got a menu button down there press and hold the home button for that recent running apps list which is very smooth and fluid Otherwise, though, I mean, the ROM does feel very quick, very fast. I'm, I'm, I'm actually very impressed at the speed of it. I do want to give a shout out to uh, Toast, uh, CFH, and Deck as well. They're two of the main guys getting things going, I believe. Um, I'm not exactly too positive who is doing what, uh, but I want to give it a shout out to everyone involved, uh, if anyone else is involved as well. Uh, let's go ahead and go into this uh, stock browser. Obviously, it includes that stock jelly bean browser. Loads on up google.com. We can try loading up a different website here. Try loading up acsyndicate.net. Again, I'm on 3G, so this might take a little bit of time. And there we go. Loads on up, so seems to be very smooth. No real lag at all when going through uh, this screen. So very nice there. Uh, otherwise, though, let's go back into those settings. I do have some settings I want to show off. You'll see you got some launcher settings there. Uh, launcher setting wise you have some home screen ones grid size search bar uh, a bunch of different ones there uh, drawer join with app show page indicator uh, no dock no icons in general you can auto rotate the screen so when you're on your home screen it, it will actually auto rotate for you of course good with my fly grip i can just uh, hold it horizontally or vertically either one if you use the kickstand as well Otherwise, go back into those settings and you have some lock screen settings, um, screen security, background, vibrate, battery status. I'm going to change that to always on because on my lock screen, I do like seeing what the battery percentage is at. You'll see it's at 92%. Uh, you can add some owner info, weather. If you want to add some weather, you can display it, uh, calendar, and slider shortcuts. So slider shortcuts is something you really want to mess with. If you want to add a shortcut, just swipe it up to where you want to add it. You can add an application or a bunch of other stuff. If I want to add the messaging application, just hit OK, and you will see it gets added there right to my lock screen. Uh, very fast, very easy. Hit that Save button, and it is saved. So now when I go back to my lock screen, you will see I can go quickly to that messaging application uh, by changing that slider shortcut. Theme-wise, you can add some themes. Just search CM10 in the Play Store, and you got a bunch of theme options. You can apply those if you'd like to. System settings, status bar settings, you have AM, PM style. You can hide the clock. Uh, you can have different battery status style with icon percentage, just showing the battery percentage with the smaller icon or hide it as well. Um, you can have uh, brightness control up there. I believe if you press and hold up here and go left and right on the status bar, I don't think you can have auto brightness on for that to work. So you can toggle that as well. Power menu uh, screenshot, you can check that. And when you press and hold the power button, you'll see there's a screenshot option then. Um, which is obviously a quick option that you have there. You can change some hardware keys as well. Uh, I want to go back into that system. Uh, notification drawer is where you can edit these notification widgets, uh, these widget buttons. So you go to widget buttons, you can add a bunch of different ones. Let's say I wanted to toggle brightness. I wanted to, um, let's say, toggle anything. I mean, toggle orientation. You will see those get added. Um, if you have a lot on there, you can swipe through them right here. So you'll see Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, GPS, a bunch of them are on. Let's try out the torch. 
So you'll see Torch is on, Torch works well there. Uh, so you got a bunch of different ones there. You can change the order of as well, so change your widget button order. So if you want the LED flashlight to be the first one, you can, and there you go. So you have a lot of options there for your uh, widget buttons, which I like to have. Those are awesome to have. Uh, you can close door on change, hide scroll bar, scroll bar, excuse me, and haptic feedback as well. But overall, that's really about all the things I wanted to cover and show you guys. You will see, uh, of course, for Jelly Bean Wise, if you wanted to add a certain widget, like the bookmarks widget, it will actually rearrange these applications that are on your home screen if you want to drop it on top of a certain spot. So you'll see the apps are all moving and such just to, to make room for your your certain widget there. Uh, it is scrollable. Uh, you can resize it as well, of course. Uh, but I mean, overall, I'm, I am pretty impressed with the speed and uh, how, how fluid this ROM is running. Obviously running into certain bugs here and there, which is uh, which is expected, of course. This is still just a, a real early alpha build, uh, a preview build to get things going. And just giving you a status update on how CM10, Science Montana, is coming on your HTC Evo 4G LTE. As I said, I wanted to keep you guys as updated as possible, so I wanted to do a quick review for you guys. But uh, yeah, I mean, the camera button works. I believe it should open the camera. It's, you'll see you can take pictures with it as well. So I, I didn't mention that when I was in the camera application before, but uh, otherwise that's really about it. That's all I wanted to show. Uh, if you have any questions or you have any comments, you'll definitely have to let me know what you think. Be sure to leave a comment. Uh, be sure to subscribe as well. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Google+. All links will be in the description of the video below. And as always, thanks for watching. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up.